guys, Night Prowl here, and we're looking at the 2016 KTM 690 Enduro R. Um, after 2,000 miles, so we'll look at the mileage real quick. So 2,164 miles. Uh, it's all dirty and gunked up because I came back from Big Bear today, so she is dirty. Uh, we were on some dirt trails, and uh, it it's, uh, seems to be good, doing really good. The only issues I've had, here's uh, the only issues I've had is the reflector over here melted. Like, you can see it, just totally melted compared to the one that's on the other side. It's like not anything, so... And the seat sucks, so I put a seat concept seat on it, which helped out a lot. Um, something melted onto the exhaust. I, I don't know what that is. It's some black crap. But, and try to scrape it off. But, <clears throat> everything, everything seems to be going good. I lost a screw here for the exhaust uh, heat shield. I lost that, so I went to Chaparral and got another one a couple days ago. Uh, been cleaning the chain and maintaining that. Like, basically, that's what I spend a lot of time on is my chain. I did an oil change at 2,000 miles. See, I had one done at, okay, Burt's Auto Mall, uh, Burt's Mega Mall, Motorcycle Mega Mall did the <clears throat> oil change and service the first service at 750 miles so it's had its service so it had a valve adjustment and the service done and everything tightened and uh, you know I guess everything tightened but not really because I lost that screw but uh I don't know but then I did a service last night on it or yeah night before last um, where I did the oil change filters and adjusted the chain, lubed the chain, cleaned the, well, cleaned the chain and lubed it with my, the chain wax I bought. And, uh, <clears throat> so it needs to be cleaned again because it's got all kinds of crap on it. And I'm not going to go on dirt for, for a while here until, you know, I figure out, um, you know, where to go. But, yeah, that's, uh, for 2,000 miles, she's been pretty good. I noticed today, uh, oh, yeah, my valve, I was going to get back to this. Uh, the bottom, it, the, the engine's making all kinds of noise, like lots of valve noise. I would go ahead and start it up for you, but it only does it when it cuts up the temperature. And I don't need it getting up to temperature because I'm going to wash it right now. So I need it to be cold. But, um, so I'm getting a lot of, t -t 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 -t, you know, tapping which I don't understand because I shouldn't have to do another valve adjustment until 6,000 miles, but I, I'm not sure. And uh, we'll look at the tires real quick. So that one's, you know, whatever. But then the back one is just, Like it looks like a lot, but it's, you know, it's got ran down a lot, actually. But, <clears throat> so far, super happy with it. Uh, if you guys know of something I can use to buff out this display, because I had some sand or some dirt on there, and I wiped it off with my hand, and I wasn't careful about it. I guess I didn't baby it enough, <laughs> so I scratched it all up. <coughs> And that's kind of annoying. So if you guys know something, I can use to buff that out. You know, not a big deal. I'm not looking to, you know, make it a per perfect little, you know, bike. But, you know, one of these days I might, especially when I go to uh, Kansas, I might supermoto this thing out. You know, depending on, you know, I don't know. But, um, you know, I would like to get some stuff cleaned up on it. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, for 2,000 miles, and I've had it for a little over a month, I think I bought it, I bought it nine, 
one. Was it nine one when I bought it? Yeah, it was nine one when I bought it. Or nine thirty one. And I think it was nine one or or no eight thirty one or nine one. I don't know. But um date wise. But yeah. Uh it's pretty decent. Like I said, just the engine's noisy. I, I don't understand that. And uh other than that, you know. And she runs warm and she's got plenty of coolant. But she runs warm. Like, I've noticed that. Like, she could run a little cooler. Like, I I, I want to figure out a, a way to make the bike run a little cooler. And I don't mean turn the fans on, like, sooner. I mean, like, the bike needs to run cooler. It just... It hasn't overheated or anything at all. But it could run cooler. I think it would benefit from that somehow. So, I don't know if maybe changing out a thermostat in it or... You know, I'm assuming it has one. I mean, most stuff like that does, so. But that's it. That's my 2016 KTM Enduro 690 for 2,000 miles that I've I've had it now and pretty happy with it. Uh, you guys haven't seen all the riding. Like, I know you guys have only seen a couple of videos, but actually I've ridden it quite a bit quite uh, quite more than uh what has been in the videos just because you know i look at the videos and i look at the views and i'm like they're not really popping a lot of interest so you know i didn't like i deleted a whole segment of videos uh, i think it was thomas mountain <clears throat> that i went up to you know i went the, the next day after i was doing idlewild and i just deleted all of them because i was like what's the point you know nobody watches them anyway so <clears throat> Yeah, I just deleted them. But if people show interest and say, hey, you know, we like the 690, we like uh, the Enduro, you know, or we like the camping videos, or we like the, you know, off-road videos, then yeah, I'll totally do it. And I still have my Jeep and everything. It's just I can't run my Jeep because right now, I, in two months, I'm leaving for Kansas. And I've got to drive that Jeep to Kansas. And I can't afford it. If I break something on it right now, I can't afford to fix it. So, you know, <clears throat> if I break something major on it, you know, I don't want to, I mean, I could afford it. I just don't want to have to dump five, six hundred dollars into fixing it, you know, before I leave. So, you know what I mean? So that's it. Um, but yeah, it's 2,000 miles. Uh, well, 2,100, 2,160, whatever. Um, pretty decent bike. I've only dumped it once. You guys saw that in the video. Uh, almost dumped it again today. I, I was going to record more on that trip, but I, I really didn't. I think I just ran, you know, sometimes you just record. I haven't even seen the only video that I did record because it was opening day at uh, hunting season today. And I we were on a back road somewhere. And uh, I was with some other guys, and they're not a big fan of the whole YouTubes. So I didn't uh, record. I recorded some, but, you know, he doesn't. Not a fan of being on it, so... I think in that video he is going to be on it. It's, But, you know, that's just the way it is. I can't, you know. You can't see his face or anything, but... So that's it, you know. Like I said, uh, I'm pretty happy with the bike. We need to learn how to wheelie. I'm afraid. I'm, I'm being a little pussy. Uh, and I don't mean that as a... Uh, I just mean... God, I'm just trying to be politically correct here. And No, I'm being a pussy. That's the way it is, you know. Or, or somebody who's a, who's a giant wuss. So, I'm not going to say pussy because there's women out there that are super more tougher than me. Like, way tougher than me. Most women are tougher than me. <laughs> so, I can't say that, really. Um, but that's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and wash it and get it somewhat cleaned up for the the upcoming week until next week. Because, you know, I pretty much ride this everywhere. <laughs> I ride it to, you know, go eat and stuff. I mean, it's cheaper on gas. And any, you know, any saddle time is better than, uh, than car time, I don't know, unless I need to use the CB. <laughs> but, yeah, that's it. Talk to you guys later.